What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and I am just setting up for SBO's little birthday party. And I even have a special guest that's been meet that I want SBO to meet. He's in the back right now, and uh, well, soon everything will be all great. Hold up, uh, there, all set up. Okay, now all I gotta do is just wait for SBO to get here. I'm already here. Wait a minute, what the heck? SBO, really? Sorry, I'm a ninja. I mean, being sneaky is what I do. I know, I know. But anyway, happy birthday, man! <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Vector and Charmy and Mighty, they, um, they wished me happy birthday as well. In Vector's case, it was throwing water balloons at me while I was invisible. So that way they can see me. Yikes. Well, anyway, at least you're okay now, right? Yes. Okay, and very, very wet. Well, uh, here, here's a towel. Thank you. Well, anyway, um, the SBO, I actually have a birthday surprise for you. Oh, what is it? Is it a water balloon? Oh, trust me, no, it's not a water balloon, I promise. Anyway, come on out. SBO, I would like you to meet my friend from the Ruby universe. And he's somewhat like you. He's not really a ninja, but he can actually cloak himself, just like you. But anyway, meet my good friend, Ren, from the Ruby universe. Hey, um, what's up, SBO? It's, uh, nice to meet you. Flame told me a lot about you. Hmm. As, hmm, I don't really know much about you, so why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, well, um, my name is Ren. I am a good cook. I mainly cook pancakes. That's only because my girlfriend, Nora, she keeps asking for them. And I'm basically the R in my own team called Team Juniper. Where it's, gonna, where it's me and my team leader, Jean, uh, his girlfriend, Pira, and, of course, my girlfriend, Nora. And we and we are basically kind of like Team Ruby, except you know. But um, yeah, I have this special ability where I can cloak myself, and I can even cloak other people. They just need to be touching me in order for that to happen. Hmm. I see. So basically, you are kind of like me. Yeah, but unlike you, I'm not a ninja. I wish I was though, but I'm not. Hmm. Well, maybe one day I can teach you how to be a ninja. Oh, would you? Hmm, maybe. Okay, well, I see that you two are actually starting to get along pretty well. Yep. <laughs> anyway, Ren, tell me something. Have you ever, um, attempted to cloak other people? Oh, yes, I actually have. I mean, thanks to my friend Jean, I was able to cloak, um, a whole train full of people. And I also managed to hide my two best friends just in case. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. In fact, the evil enemy that we're fighting called Grimm, they can sense our energy, but with me around, they can't sense it. As long as they as long as they're cloaked or if I'm cloaked, it's pretty cool. Hmm, quite interesting. But it's too bad that my power can't do that for people. Oh well, but it's okay. Yeah, well, anyway, um, Espioso, how are you liking it so far? It's pretty nice. Oh, and, uh, Flame, I actually have someone here that wants to see you. Really? Who? Well, it's somebody who you haven't seen in a very, very long time, ever since you gave the dojo to me. Okay, who is it? Come on in, my. Wait a minute. My? Hello, Master Flame. My Shirinuri, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. Indeed it has, Master. <laughs> wow, you look great. Thank you. It's all the training thanks to Master Espio. Master Espio. Hey, she only calls me that when we're in the dojo, but, but other times, okay? <laughs> but anyway, my... Why don't you tell, um, your former master all the training that you did back at the dojo? Yes, my training has been going pretty well, actually. 
Yep, and get this. Last time you saw me, I was a B-class ninja, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, thanks to Master Espio, I'm now an X-class ninja. An X-class ninja? All right. Yeah, before you guys ask, um, the rankings of my ninja school, the X-class is the top of the class. This is great. I'm so happy for you, Mai. Aw, well, thank you. <laughs> well, anyway, um, oh, and by the way, Espio, there's one other person here that I really want you to meet. Oh, who is it? Well, she's basically a ninja, just like you. I had her on the channel only, um, once. I only had her on the channel once. So, yeah, anyway, here she is. Everyone, it's, guys, take a look at this, it's Hinata, <laughs> that's right, Hinata from the Naruto universe, she's back, people. Hi, Flame, it's good to see you, last time I seen you, I was doing that reaction video with you, but how come you haven't asked me back? Well, it's mainly because people prefer, uh, Sonic content than Naruto content. But that doesn't mean that I won't be bringing you on anymore. I, it's just that um, we both have our jobs here. I mean, I gotta protect my world, you gotta protect your world, so... Yeah, basically, um, we're both pretty busy. Yeah, that's true. Oh, um, who's this? Um, Hinata, I would like you to meet my two good friends, Mai Shirinuri and Ren. Hello, Miss Hinata. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. <laughs> yep, it's a whole clan of ninjas here, guys. Oops, I forgot one more person. Hey, um, SBO, look who I brought here with me just to wish you happy birthday. Um, who is it? Take a look at my hand. It's a little computer. Yes, but... Does this computer look familiar to you? Um, it looks like an old Game Boy. Dude, really? Anyway, come on out! Greetings, Espio the Chameleon. It's me, Nicole the Hollow Lynx. Or in this case, Iron Nicole. Oh, um, it's nice to see you, uh, Nicole. It's really nice to see you. It's very nice to see you too, SBO. It's been a long time. Indeed it has. Um, Flame, why did you do this? I mean, you know me and Nicole aren't seeing each other anymore. Oh yeah, that's right! Hey guys, before you guys, uh, guys, get this. Back in the day, SBO and Nicole, they actually dated. They actually dated. It's kind of crazy, but they actually did date. Now, I know what you guys are probably going to say. There isn't any evidence of that. Well, believe it or not, some people do ship Nicole and Espio together. Reason why is because they're somewhat of the brains of the, opera of, of the operation. And they're very, very loyal to their cause. Yep, that's true. Yep. But the problem is, is, um... The reason why we broke up was because our relationship really wasn't going to work out. Because, think about it... I'm a computer AI, and Espio is all flesh and bones, and I'm all computer programming. So, the chances of us getting married and, I don't know, having kids or something, that's going to be pretty hard. Yeah, that's true. But, but, you could have just came to me. I could have just made you real. Well, that is pretty tr well, that is true, but if I want to become real, I'll become real on my own. Well, okay then, but if you change your mind, you know where to find me, right? Of course. Oh, and, uh, by the way, um... Oh, yeah, um, by the way, um, be sure to tell Sally that I took really good care of you. Of course. I mean, you always take good care of me when you ask, when you ask Miss Sally to borrow me. Yeah, I do, I do. I do take really good care of you. I mean, you are pretty much like, uh, another sister of mine. Aw, well, thank you. <laughs> well, anyway, happy birthday, SBO the Chameleon. Um, thank you, Nicole. 
And, uh, I guess I'll talk to you later, I guess. Oh, well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for the party. Yeah, I, yeah, there's actually a reason why I asked everybody here. It's to celebrate your birthday, SBO. I brought in my friends and, of course, your old girlfriend. And I had no idea that you were going to bring one of my old students here. Well, <laughs> I guess we both got a surprise at that. Yep. Hey, uh, Mai, um, later on, I got a proposition that I want to ask you. Um, okay. Okay, well, anyway. Anyway, SBO, so... Tell me something here. Um, where is your mom? Because I know for a fact that, um, we know, I know about your mom. She's the, she's one of the, uh, ninja brides, right? Yes, absolutely. She's not only the, uh, bride of my ninja clan, but she's also my mother. <laughs> and, uh, let's just hope that she forgives me for my immaturity all those years ago. I'm pretty sure that she forgave you after that, man. I'm pretty sure of that. I mean, one thing I know about ninjas is they never hold a grudge. Am I right? Absolutely. I mean, holding grudges and seeking revenge, that's what, that's what ninjas are not about. I mean, sure, we do seek revenge most of the time, but not, to, not, but not old grudges. That's just wrong. That's just wrong on so many levels. Well, I see what you mean. Because if people be holding old grudges, that's just going to eat them alive. This is going to eat them alive until, you know, they do something they won't for they'll do something that they'll for that they'll regret. Yeah, that is true. That's very very true. Yeah. Well, at least you're not like that, right, SBO? Of course not. I am a ninja, but I'm also a detective. I work things out. I mean, just ask Vector. By the way, how is Vector anyway? Still trying to get with Vanilla? Yep, he is. And how's that plan going? Still not going so well. Ouch. Okay, so his plan still isn't going... So his plan still isn't going well? Nope, it's not. But, uh... I honestly don't know what to do about that. I mean... He's coming to me for advice about women, and I don't even have a girlfriend. Uh, but I'm pretty, but out of both Charmy, but out of both of us, I'm pretty sure Charmy is the one that's good with women. I mean, he's basically seeing Marine. Yeah, that's true, he is. So, if, so, and besides, he may be only six years old, but he sure does know how to treat a woman. Yep, that's true. Um, if you want my advice, I say, um, if you want my advice, I say, um, Vector, he should, um, give this Vanilla just a little something that she likes. I mean, what does Vanilla like? Well, Ren, she absolutely loves multiple things. She loves baking, uh, she loves taking care of the house, she loves nature. And, most importantly, she loves her daughter, Cream the Rabbit. Oh, well, maybe if Vector babysat Cream for a while, maybe Venus Vanilla will see how responsible Vector is. No, my, I honestly don't think that, because most people seem to think that, uh, Vector is a bad influence. And besides, the last time, besides, the last time that happened, he was just using cream to get to vanilla. I mean, why else does he all what else do you think he's always by um their house? It's uh pretty insane. Well, that is true. I mean, I have been on Mobius for almost months now. Yeah, that's true. And uh and uh we still need to think of something. I don't know. Um may I have a suggestion? Um, what is it, Hinata? Well, when I got Naruto, um, there was kind of sort of a life or death experience. It was sort of a life or death situation, and the, right before when Naruto was almost about to die, or, you know, I somewhat confessed my love to him. And from that day forward, he and I, we've been seeing each other, and then eventually, we got married. 
Aw, well that's pretty cute. You know, when I was in the Naruto universe, I immediately thought that, um... I immediately thought that Naruto was going to get with Sakura. Well, most people do seem to ship them, but... But she's more into Sasuke. Yeah, I know. But, <laughs> I still can't believe it. How the- I mean, think about it like this. Hinata, she- I mean, Hinata, um, Sakura is basically the Amy Rose in your universe, and she's always obsessed over something. Well, not really. But, the thing is, I honestly don't know how she could get with somebody like Sasuke. I mean, he's mean, he's selfish, just because this whole clan died, he has to have this whole edgy personality. I mean, that's just something. Well, you should talk to Sasuke and Sakura about that. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I honestly don't know about this anymore. But, uh, anyway, um... So, SBO, um, any plans for your birthday? Besides the whole water balloons and this thing? Um, well, I was planning on going to see my mom. It has been a long time since I saw my mom. Yeah, I know. I wonder how the bride is doing. I wonder how she's doing. Hmm, I don't know. That's why I'm gonna go over there and see her. Plus, it will be kinda nice to see my sister again. Oh yeah, I forgot. You do have a sister, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's been years since I last saw her. Gosh, I wonder how much she's grown. I'm pretty sure she's grown up quite a bit, dude. And I bet she became a really great ninja like you. I mean, throwing kunais, shurikens, sword fighting, and all sorts of things. Oh, no, 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 no. My sister is far, far too precious for something so dangerous like that. That's why I'm protect that's why I forbid her to overgo any training involving any ninja weapons, any martial arts, basically anything. The only thing that she can do is play with her friends, stay home, and perhaps work on her camouflage. But dude, think about it like this. What if she's in a life or death situation and she needs to defend herself? Well, if she was inside the house and she wouldn't need to be in a life or death situation. Well, I know it's not my place to uh, tell you how to, you know, keep an eye on your sister or raise your sister or something, because I know you look out for her. I mean, I do the same thing when it comes to Monzi or Roxy. I'm just saying, I mean, there comes a time where you can be too overprotective, where you won't let your sister do anything. With my sisters, I just let them do whatever. As long as they're careful. I mean, they know how to fight. They have powers. I mean, I'm just saying, they do know how to fight. They know how to take care of themselves. So, and plus, SBO, maybe it's about time for you to let your sister blossom. It's like they all, okay, you know how the mother eagle throws her uh, chicks off the nest to learn how to fly? Yeah. Well, one of these days, your little sister is going to have to leave the nest to learn how to fly on her own. Well, I guess you do have a point there. You swap, you hummed the good melody, Flame. Yes, you did. And for that, I am humbly grateful, Your Highness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting I am the king now. Wait a minute. Flame, you're a king? Yeah, Ren. Oh, my sincerest apologies. Oh my gosh, please don't start this. Master Flame, you're a king? Yes, I'm a king now. I'm the king of Mobius. And before you say anything, Hinata, Nicole, yes, I am a king. I'm a king, okay? It's just that this whole fussing and attention thing, guys, it's just getting on my nerves sometimes. I mean, I appreciate it, but it could get overwhelming. I just don't like it. It's just... So, please, guys, the same goes for Sonic and stuff, with Manic, Sonya, and everything. It's just that we know that we're royalty. We know that we're royalty. But it's just that we don't want people to keep reminding us. But anyway, yeah, SBO, I am glad that you finally um, accepted this. Of course. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's like you said, most baby eagles, it's like you said... 
baby eagles, they need to learn how to fly on their own. And I'm just the mother bird just trying to, you know, protect them. So, I guess I will help my sister out with any piece of training that she needs. I mean, I can show her the ropes. Yeah, that's a good idea, SBO. Anyway, thanks for the party, Flame. Thanks for the party, Flame. The food was great, and the good company, too. But uh, I think it's about time for me to head on out and go to my village. My mother is probably waiting. And same thing with my sister. I contacted them earlier before I came here. Well, all right then, SBO. Uh, well, it's good to see... Well, I'm glad that... Um, I'm glad that you guys actually, uh, hit, I'm glad that you and Ren actually hit it off. Of course. I mean, him and I, we are so much alike. He's practically the me of the Ruby universe. Oh, come on, SBO. I'm really not like that. Yes, you are, Ren. I mean, just continue, just continue what you're doing and protecting your friends. Of course. I'll always do that. Oh, hey, guys, real quick, before we got, before you guys go, can we please get a picture of you guys together? Um, okay, well, where should we stand? Uh, we'll go outside on this cliff, and, uh, Ren, can you please, you, can you please hold out your weapons when you do it? Um, what kind of weapons does he have? Oh, he has these cool guns that are also blades. Ooh, I'd love to take a look at those. Oh, well, you'll see them after when we get to get this picture. All right. Well, anyway, anyway, I will be heading past a giant cliff with a rock near it uh, to get to my village. So maybe you can accompany there. Maybe, maybe you can accompany me there, Ren. Yeah, I think I might do that. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> well, guys. Well, guys. <laughs> looks like we reached the end of Espio's little birthday party, and I do like to thank Hinata, Iron Nicole. And my Shirinuri for coming onto the channel and coming to the party as well. And especially you, Mai. Um, Mai, that proposition that I want to ask you, I'll ask you later, okay? I'll probably make a recording of it. Um, alright, Master. Okay. Well, anyway, guys. Anyway, guys, be sure to wish SBO a happy birthday in the comments section. And... As for that picture of SBO and Ren, that will be the thumbnail of that of this video. So be sure to keep an eye out for it. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog yet again saying happy birthday to SBO the chameleon. <clears throat> and also, guys, if you guys want me to bring Ren, Hinata, Mai, or Nicole onto the channel for some videos, let me know in the comment section. Oh, and also SBO as well. Sorry, I keep forgetting that he's here. Eh, some guy I am. <laughs> Ignoring the birthday boy. <sighs> but anyway, this is King Flame the Dragon Hog, the god of power. SBO the Chameleon. Ren. My Shirinuri. Hinata. And Nicole. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Happy birthday, SBO.